Good morning, YouTube. Friday morning here, about 8.30. We've got an uh, expansion valve to go replace right now. And several no-cool calls with a bunch of rain coming. It's dark. Uh, and looks like it's about to come a downpour. So I, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm running over to go try to get this TXV changed out. I should have done been there by now, but I ran. I was running late this morning, so I could probably, if I'd have been here like I was supposed to be, I'd have a good jump on it right now. But things happen. I had a, uh, I had a little mishap at the house this morning. Nothing serious, just uh, and was running late. So the good thing about it is, is that it's a it's a newer Linux coil, and it's all bolt on. There's no brazing required. So I don't even have to carry a torch up in the attic. I just got to bring two crescent wrenches and uh, unbolt the TXV. The equalizing uh, line is it un it unbolts and remount and undo the bulb. Pop the new one in, bolt it, mount the bulb, and pump a vacuum and start the system up. And then after that, we're going to get started on running some of the, uh, you know, knocking out these no cool calls. So we'll take you guys along a ride, uh, along for the ride <laughs> on this TXV replacement and maybe some service calls later today. All right, guys, here's our unit. It's an older Linux. Five ton. I just got it pumped down. Uh, you can see I got a piece of paper right here for the customer and you can see the rain drops on my testos it Does not look good So I'm gonna run to the attic and start taking out the TXV
guys, I'm pulling away here, headed back to the shop. Uh, I don't have any tape, you know, that tape to tape up a bulb on an expansion valve. And I did not like the way they had it. I don't, I don't, it, I don't know if the if the camera caught that of of what I of what the bulb was wrapped in. It was just wrapped in rubber tex, and it was really loose. Uh, good God, this driveway is tricky. Uh, the bulb, uh, the, the 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 rubber tex. They just they put some rubber tex over it and wrapped it with duct tape, and uh, it was loose and wasn't you know very tight I don't I don't like that so I am uh gonna head back towards the shop and uh, cuz like I like I said uh, I don't I don't know if I t uh, told y'all this but it's very rare that we go to a supply house we have a huge shop with everything that we need uh, I mean there are some things every once in a blue moon that we don't have and we got to run the supply house but bulb tape for an expansion valve we should definitely have that at the shop I'd be surprised if we don't and then uh you saw in the video I had to put a the, the new band. I tried to reuse the old one because, and the reason is it's, it's not because I'm lazy or nothing like that because I know somebody's gonna say that, but it's because I like to keep if if the old one's in good shape, which it was. Uh, I like to keep the the new ones on the truck in case I go on a service call and find one that's not holding the valve right and I can replace it. But in this case, I just couldn't get the old one to hold right. It was the, the bulb was really loose and so I replaced the band like you saw and got it nice and tight um, now I know somebody else is gonna comment and say oh you know your uh, your bulb is supposed to go in a horizontal position guys I know that but I'm very limited uh, to the I have no horizontal piping run all the piping run is vertical it doesn't turn up until horizontal until about I don't know a couple feet above my head and then it's it's on the rafters and you know I can we all know you know you can't I mean you could put a bulb up there but it ain't gonna reach so I mean it had to go back right there I had no choice I don't like it but I had no choice so anyway I just want to clarify that because you know I know somebody would have commented about the band saying I was lazy which is not true and then somebody would have commented about the position of the bulb but I mean I just it's the real world, like Steve Lav says. This is the real world. This is not a classroom. And I did. I did the best job with what I had to work with. And all I had to work with was vertical pipe run. So, it is what it is. Alright, I'm going to run to the shop and get this tape and we'll see y'all back at the job. Alright guys, you can see I used, you know, this tape here instead of the rubber text. It, it does a much better job than uh, this. This is what was on there. This big old piece of rubber text. So, put that on there. That looks a lot better. I'm going to try to get a piece of insulation right here. It's going to be hard, though, with that 90 and then this, but I'll see what I can do. But it's still pouring down rain. Uh, our shop man is bringing me a tarp to try to so I can cover my vacuum pump and gauges and all that and try to get a vacuum going so that's the next step alright guys we'll walk around here we got our vacuum going I'll explain to y'all a little situation we got here the coil that we just changed the expansion valve on that this unit is hooked to is made for R410A and R22. Uh, the coil was just put in by us uh, a couple years ago. I told him since the valve was bad and he needed a new valve anyway to go ahead and move to 410A. We could have put a 410A valve in a new condenser because this condenser does have some age on it. Well, he chose not to do that. So I got the unit halfway pumped down. I couldn't pump it all the way down because the uh, relief the relief kicked in on the compressor. So the little bit that I did get pumped down, it leaked it all out because the valves are leaking. The service valves are leaking. So um, so what I'm doing right now is is uh, 
pumping a vacuum and then we're going to reload it up with charge and i mean i'll seal them off with nylog but other than that not much else i can do for him so vacuum's pulling down and we'll wait till it's done and then we'll charge him up and start the unit up hey guys uh, i'm sorry i didn't get no footage of the unit running uh but I, do, I did get the system back up and running. I was trying to beat the rain, guys. I didn't have time to finish filming. But the weather has actually started to clear up now. But uh, I just, you know, wanted to put this at the end of the video that I did get the unit running. It's running good. Uh, much better than it was the other day, for sure. Um, looks like the service valves are leaking by a little bit. Uh, you know, leaked out a bunch. It leaked out almost, you know, all the gas and... Nothing I can do about that. I sealed him off with Nylog and uh, did the best I could with it. But he's cooling, so he should be good to go. But anyway, uh, sorry I didn't get more film than what I did. But thank you all for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next one.